trying to impress me, pulling out all the stops. Making my dizzy when you tell me what you want. I just wanted you to see me. Never thought you'd notice. Thought that you should know I'm already sold. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy and today I have some cleaning for you. I don't know why I always like start to run when I say that. Because <laughs> we're about to get up and move. I know some of y'all just watch the videos and I think that's cool too. But I want to read a comment from the Messy Pigsty Clean With Me video. And this is from Jerry. They said, you are so real. That's why I loved your video and subscribed immediately. Love you and God bless you. I always wanted to make my own YouTube channel, but I was ashamed of my house. But now I'm not because you gave me so much inspiration. Love you and thanks. I love you and all of you here too. And that is awesome. I think... You should never be ashamed of what your home looks like. I will be honest with y'all. There were times when I really wanted to film cleaning videos and with that you kind of are vulnerable and you do show your home. But I have noticed that a lot of people really appreciate the realness of it. So it doesn't matter, really it doesn't matter what color your walls are, whether you have an all white house or an all gray house. I know some people don't like that. <laughs> I hear it in my comments all the time. Or if you have flower wallpaper like me, there is someone for you. You know, like there are people that are going to watch you. I enjoy watching the people that have the like everything's the same color. I don't think I would feel comfortable with that kind of home but it is enjoyable to watch sometimes so I like both but I do get what y'all are saying in the comments and I read all your comments but to not make this intro super long we are going to get the cleaning I have some laundry to do I have some straightening up in the kitchen in the living room to do and my dresser in my bedroom is the collector of all things and she needs a good clean so also have a grocery haul so you would have seen all that in the title let's go ahead and jump into this video I'm so glad you're here let's get the cleaning all right y'all I'm starting off in the kitchen this morning I always make my bed when I get up so the kitchen is normally the first place I'll go and I'm just gonna tidy up in here real quick Who am I to say we tried our best? Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises? Who am I to say there's nothing left? Who am I to look down? Who am I to say... So my trash can is a hot mess. I'm going to show you all up close before and after because it is going to be a satisfying clean. <laughs> I have not cleaned this trash can in weeks. I'm just going to be honest. Turn around. Maybe someday I'll wait for it. Someday I'll look past all the reasons and wrong turns I took. Someday
so long I can't remember your taste now And the weight of your touch It's been so long I can't remember what it felt like To drown in your love It's like I've been walking here for days Lost in the dance of oh babe I cannot forget you All I need is one drop and then I will be forgiven All right, so moving on to laundry. If I have a load of laundry, I always start it in the morning. That way I do not get hot and sweaty at night when I'm trying to go to bed. But <laughs> I'm using the extra laundry detergent and I only fill up the cup like a third of the way full. This has always worked out for me and I really do like the extra laundry detergent and it's super affordable. my messy dresser Alright, moving on to the bathroom. While I clean in here, I wanted to share some products I've been loving. So this one is the CoverGirl True Blend Powder Foundation. I just put this over my regular foundation, which is also the CoverGirl True Blend. This is so good, y'all. It makes your skin feel so soft and also matte. So if you don't like oily, you know, dewy textures on your skin, this is going to feel so good and you really can't feel it on your skin. So let me know if y'all have ever tried that. And then for dry shampoo, I love Suave. It is a really good deal and it works. So that is what I use. And for all my sensitive skin people out there like me, I use the Cetaphil. It's a gentle skin cleanser and it takes off my makeup too. So that's the only cleanser product I use. Alright, moving on to the living room now. This is the room that normally just stays clean, but I do have to pick up a few things every now and then. And also I have some laundry to fold. So I'm going to do that and clean out Aaron's chair. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? Okay, also let me know how you liked this voiceover. I know my microphone is a little staticky, so I will do my best to fix that. But let me know if you like the voiceovers.
got my grocery haul Aaron went with me and here it is so how much did we spend 120 something I think okay so this is a week's worth of groceries for us we still have stuff left over in our cabinets in our fridge meat wise and everything so this is kind of like an in-between grocery haul I guess so Aaron got these Big John's Red Hot Pickled Sausages. You want to share what you called them? No. No? Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, y'all can guess what he called them. <laughs> Holy guacamoles. I got these little ones because um, they store better. We got a TGI Friday's Baby Back ribs hopefully i can split this in half and like uh cook it in a crock pot maybe okay it's already fully cooked i believe so aaron picked out these cocoa crisp and the frosted flakes and i picked out these cinnamon churros have y'all tried these before because they look really good and if they taste anything like churros then i'm gonna like them we got some milk these little donut rolls balls were Buy one, get one free. Donut holes. Donut holes. Sorry. <laughs> he's correct. I'm sorry, y'all. Aaron makes me laugh. Y'all, if he's very shy on camera, but he is kind of funny, to be honest. Okay. Some apple fruit bots. Corn on the cob. I got me a coffee drink. Aaron got him this one. What does this even taste like? I don't know kind of tastes like doesn't this taste like a they're called screwdrivers mm -hmm. the alcohol drinks not but quite, not really. it's oh like, it's like mango mango okay Erin picked out the cinnamon toast crunch coffee creamer I think I've seen my friends try this out paisley I think it was paisley Okay, and I picked out this one. This is the cinnamon bun one. Oh, it's so good. Butter pecan ice cream sandwiches. Oh, that sounds good. I wasn't, I wasn't in the aisle when he picked those out. So I got these lettuce. I call them wraps. <laughs> it's romaine lettuce hearts. I just use these as wraps. So like I'll put black beans in them or garbanzo beans in them. Or some people call them chickpeas. And um, guacamole salsa sour cream i make it like a little taco like a vegetarian taco are you okay just drinking some stuff over there oh also if he doesn't like this then this would be really good in those lettuce wraps too it is a southwest style um rice and vegetables and i think it's got some black beans in it too steam green beans got this carne piccata probably said that wrong but i'm gonna use this for stir fries got a thing of hamburger meat because i still have not made my chili yet and i needed some of this because i've already used my other ones told him i wanted to make a pork roast or beef roast this is a shoulder roast boneless beef so 13 dollars for that but we do really like food lines because their meat just is better for us okay that's chloe's dog food right here she likes that kind she's eating it right now Erin picked out some juice this one's the apple mango it's really good and that one's apple mango and he said i can't have any because um <laughs> why can't i have any huh you picked all the drinks <laughs> So I picked out all the drinks. No, I I know he is a picker, uh, y'all. He picks on me a lot, but he, I guess like he thought I was gonna pick out sodas for both of us. And as you can see over here, <laughs> diet, 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 regular. Aaron does not drink diet sodas. If he gets desperate, he may. I don't know, but. I, I guess he thought I was going to pick him out more drinks, <laughs> but I did not. He picked out the Pepsi, and I was like, okay, I guess you don't want any more. Anyways, my trash is full. Um, so, 
I will try to leave most of the juice for him though because his drinks are going to run out pretty soon. And then I've picked out this, oh my goodness, I don't even know what it says. Marty Pride Smoked Pork Jowl. Do y'all do this? I grew up and my family put this in everything. Beans, green beans, you know. It tastes really good. And I don't know about y'all, but I would always be the one to pick this out after everything was done and eat it by itself. Because it just is like melts in your mouth. Um, so if you have not tried pork jowl before, you should get it. I don't, I mean, I'm from the south, so I don't know if they have this up north. <laughs> but if they do, buy it, okay? It's only $3.07 and it's already sliced for you. Because you can get the, like, pork necks and stuff. But those, I always end up freezing and then I never used them. So I was like, well, let me get the slices because I feel like I'd actually use this better than the other so love that okay and then this for stir fry all right i don't normally pick up produce like fresh produce during the winter because to be honest it sucks i'm sorry <laughs> the tomatoes suck like i'm a gardener so i can tell the difference between fresh produce and out of season produce so i just don't buy anything other than potatoes and onions during the winter time because everything else just doesn't taste the same and you cannot beat the freshness of a garden if you have even a patio on an apartment like a little balcony please plant you some tomato plants because it's so much better like out of all the vegetables if you want to taste a true tomato grow your own that's all i gotta say <laughs> so i'll be growing some and it, no excuse if you have the smallest space i had an apartment that i had a little tiny sliding door in my bedroom and i could walk out and it was probably like from the fridge to the to the stove of amount of space but just in that amount of space there's flour on my floor okay it's real life over here just that amount of space you could get you some pots and do some tomatoes and you can um you can have like a big pot and grow your own lettuce too and it turns out really good so y'all will see all that soon um and i'm i am gonna do my garden differently this year i am gonna do it more like urban gardening where it's really beneficial for people that don't have a lot of space so stay tuned for that it will be a couple months from now but you will definitely see it eventually but yeah this is our grocery haul i hope you enjoyed it and now it's time to read some comments all right y'all so i forgot that i already read a comment in the beginning of this video so i'm gonna end it here i think this video may be kind of short so i hope you still enjoyed it and i will see you back here for another video tomorrow tomorrow is what Kimmy Thursday okay so I'll see you back here Thursday and I hope you'll have a great day and got some motivation from this video whether it been from the grocery haul or the cleaning portion I just hope it made your day a little bit better leave all your comments down below that you want to share with me because I love to respond to your comments I'm really trying hard <laughs> Y'all are over well with me in the most positive way with all your comments. So I know in every video I say how appreciative I am, but it's because I know that without you that this is not possible, you know? So I always want to stay grateful that y'all are here and you are engaging in all of those things and I just really appreciate it. So if you get tired of me saying that I appreciate it in every video, it's because I do. <laughs> Two shoulders up. Body language. <laughs> do y'all watch those body language videos? Okay, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna I'm gonna start turning into a quirky person. I got two hours of sleep last night. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun